Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to a John Eng, E N G. Thank you for your continued support. And we're going to dive into something. Ooh, yes, God revealed this to me. And it is story time. All right, you all, yes. Wow, this was huge. Okay, you know how we talk about the narcissistic abusers are addicted to their adrenaline. A lot of them don't even know that, all right? They don't realize that they're addicted to it. So it's like, okay, yeah, so we get that. You know, they're always, that's why they're, that, listen, y'all, that's why they like chaos and drama, okay? Because it feeds their adrenaline. Oh, and not only that, the gossip, slandering, the uh, the actual narcissistic abuse on a societal level that they themselves, uh, whatever, okay? Because, you know, God blinds them. It's like, you know what? That's it. You know, if they can't, <laughs> they don't want to hear the truth. All right? They are not going to. God tells us that. I'll show you all 2 Timothy 3. He tells us, you know, the, how the uh, how the wicked, you know, they're like forever learning, but never wanting to come to the knowledge of truth. Okay? They don't. Alright? They don't like the truth because it shatters their delusional mind. Okay? It, yeah, it shatters anything they've been conditioned to believe. So, this is why we learn. Can't, don't, tell, don't tell them the world's a stage. They're not going to get it. <laughs> I kid you not. Alright? Don't even, don't even tell them that. Alright? That the world is a stage. They will not understand that. But, here's the other thing they don't understand. It, adrenaline. Oh, this big. It's like, they know what it is. Oh, sure. They know what it is, obviously. Okay? You know, through education and things like that and elsewhere. But they don't understand it from within, obviously. Yeah. And here's where the story comes in. Alright? Now, I have one that, you know, out of common courtesy. Alright? Once the deal was done, you all, okay, for the opportunity, for the next opportunity once the deal was done I should start moving silent I had to get the detail you know worked out and all of that and then sealed the deal all right for when God did the next level up so it's like okay all right so out of a common courtesy all right and kindness I just gave I just I just shared a you know brief synopsis so to speak about it not I didn't go into detail I didn't you know didn't even I didn't even share all the details of how they found me. Mm -mm. No, because all that would have got... It's, it's tech talk. So it would have gone over their heads anyhow. Alright, so I was like, okay. And, you know, for those of you who... Don't don't even worry about it, okay? That's why I'm not going to share that part of the story. I'm sharing how they... These narcs... Okay, the narc interpreted... Right, and when I made the statement... You know, because I, I had to digest, right? I had to digest all of that. And, you know, uh, we, you know, myself and the uh, uh, new producer were on the phone for quite a, quite a while, you know, uh, building that report, getting detailed, questions answered, things like that. So, it was a little bit later than I would usually be, get, you know, getting videos edited and stuff like that. But that's okay, you know, it's like no biggie, you know, it's like stay up a little bit later, it, it goes like that. And so it's like, okay, but while I was doing that, getting back to work, I was still thinking, okay, you know, planning, okay? Because it's like once it does, it's like, I right, got to plan, got to, you know, think think about some other things, like how we're going to, you know, do this or do that or what have you. I had to put together a list for them and all of that stuff. So I was just kind of in my mind going, all right, so we do the thing, got to plan, okay, and then prepare so that we can produce things like that. And so doing that... And so I had made the statement. I was like, hmm, okay, so I got some quite a bit to think about. And, you know, I happened to you not be as, like, hungry because it was also later. So I ate a small, well, I call it a snack, okay? Because, you know, yeah, I mean, we all have preferences of what time we like to eat, okay? That's just all there is to it. So it was a little bit later than I normally would. And so I was like, uh, you know what, I'll just have this. And I was not overly hungry anyway, because I was busy up in here. I was I was busy, busy in the kingdom of God. But I was not running on adrenaline. No, not at all. But the narc, you know, when I made the statement that I said that I was just not as hungry, you know, at that time that I would normally be. And they assumed, remember, they got that demon of assumption. They assumed, they said, oh, yeah, um, yeah, uh, you bet, because you're, yeah, they were trying to tell me, because you are... 
uh, you are running on adrenaline, right? Um, no. <laughs> it's like, okay. And so after that, it's like when, and when God said, see, I said, yeah, okay. So that lets us know they are aware of the adrenaline, but they don't understand it. Remember how they think backwards? Uh-huh. So they thought just because I wasn't as hungry, you know, per, per se, that I would no, as I would normally be for a dinner, you know, but I had things that I was trying to work, iron out in my mind, planning and preparing and all of that. They don't understand that. Mm -mm, no. Okay, they don't understand that. But it, it, it was just really amazing. And so it was like when I said, okay, so that lets us know that they don't understand adrenaline and what it really is. Ah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Because if they did, they would have understood that, no, I wasn't running on adrenaline because there was nothing uh, adrenaline rush about it. Absolutely not. <laughs> sure, we were excited. You know, it's a, a great opportunity. We're excited to learn learn something else, learn new thing, learn some, you know, learn another new thing. Sure, we're like, excited, but and looking forward to it. But as far as it being an adrenaline rush, no, it wasn't. Cause it's like, oh, this is serious stuff. <laughs> you know, so I was like, all right, you know, training and, and, and practicing a, a whole new thing, or whatever, and it, you know, exciting, but yet at the same time, like, okay, here we go. All right, but it was not anything, no, it had nothing to do with an adrenaline rush. But see, for a narcissistic abuser, you know, if such an opportunity would have come to them, it would have been an adrenaline rush to them. So there's the reason why they would interpret. You know, if we shared a little something, you know, that, you know, you know about, okay, once the deal is done, all right, that's it, you know, once the deal is done, we share a little bit, they're going to automatically assume, as they often do, that it would, it did the same for us as it would have for them. Remember that. They truly don't get it. All right, they do not get the fact that chosen ones, once we are, that's right, once we learn to put away all those childish things, we want nothing to do with anything, okay, that would even, you know, remotely look like an adrenaline rush. We don't want anything to do with it because we're not addicted to the adrenaline. We put that away, all right? We overcame that. For those of you who are still working on it, keep going. All right, because it's going to happen. God is going to make it happen to where, it, yes, you are going to overcome that. Okay, just keep going. But the narcissistic abuser, because they are very much addicted to their adrenaline, they don't understand it, though, but they all automatically assume that anything that, you know, as exciting as it, as it is, you know, a new opportunity is, we are mature enough to know that, okay, but there's going to be some work that we got to do. All right, we're just, this is not just going to be fly by the night kind of thing. We're talking, we're thinking long term. So we realize that, okay, you know, we don't let it. That's, that's basically how we know. We, we stay regulated, okay, and we understand that, yes, that's exciting and everything, but okay, now we got, but we got to plan and prepare and we got some other things to do. It's not stressful at all. Absolutely not. It's not stressful. It's just, you know, we got to use our logic and our reasoning. And to be able to iron out the details and things like that. And then, you know, wait patiently for the next communication so that we can, okay, do a little bit more, uh, oh, you want to call it brainstorming, if you will. So, that kind of thing. And so, you know, just, we go forward with it. But we're not running on adrenaline. No, because of it. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. No, but see, the narcs, they don't understand that because they themselves cannot put that away. They cannot, they're, they're unable to remember because they're turned over to a reprobate mind. They are stunted emotionally. They are addicted to that adrenaline. And so they will assume that everybody else will have that same reaction. You know, because they really, they don't get the fact that, listen, I mean, they can see that we, uh, we're different. Now, especially, yeah, the part-time ones will admit, oh, yeah, they know everybody's different. Okay, but the, the way they think, okay, the way that they think, they believe that, uh, for example, you all, a little bit more story time real quick. They truly believe that this ministry is just like any other worldly ministry. Yeah, they don't get it. They think, seriously, 
they think that we're out here, you know, uh, pushing back against what the only kind of abuse that the world will ever, uh, I wouldn't say that, that the world would never, however, because it's out here now, we know about the psychological and the emotional aspect now, right? All right, well, they might, you know, these narcs might be aware of that, but they don't realize they're the ones that are partaking and engaging in that, even when they're not physical, but there's a lot of them out there who think this ministry and the work is all about just pushing back against, you know, uh, certain aspects of the abuse, okay? They have no clue that this is a spiritual ministry. They have no clue, right? They don't get it. Of course they're not. you got to be raised to spiritual body to even understand that, being reborn again in Christ, okay? you got to understand that spiritual realm really does exist, right? But to the narcissistic abusers who are conformed to this world, it doesn't exist unless it's in the physical. To them. Right? That's how they think. Unless it's in the physical, it doesn't exist. That's how they are. Remember, they've got that out of sight, out of mind mentality. So with that kind of mentality, remember what God tells us about, blessed is he who believes and has not seen. Ah, big one right there. Okay? So the narcissistic abuser, they're not going to... Listen, yes, a lot of times many of us have said, well, we'll believe it when we see it, kind of thing. We're not talking about that, uh, as far as not bearing false witness and stuff like that. There are certain things here, but I'm talking about in the spiritual. Okay, we don't, you know, well, God reveals it when we're ready for it. Have you, um, yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm trying to get out. Uh, absolutely, he does. Uh, when we're ready for it. So that's, that's why some of y'all can see some things that other chosen ones don't see. You know, um, you sense it, all right? Other chosen ones will just sense it, you know? And then there's many of us who can actually see it, you know, through the eyes of these narcissistic abusers, see it. And so, you know, it, yeah, that's all part of the gifts that God gives us, you all, for a reason, because it, it, it's part of the armor. When you really stop and think about that one, all right? Having that discernment really is part of the armor. I mean, God does tell us, be vigilant and aware, all right, but yeah, these narcs, they don't understand the adrenaline, you all. They truly don't, and they're not going to understand the spiritual. Nope, they're, they're not going to understand God's spiritual truths. Uh-uh, they will not. Remember, it's spiritual truth, okay, the truth. Narcs don't like the truth. They're demon spirits, no, but the human host did not. And we will dive into more of that later on. All right, you all, as always, if you've got any questions, you know where to reach me for additional information, insight, and other good stuff. You can check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.